Hi, Mike Kennedy. Uh, continuing on with our little MRI theme. I guess you never want to discount the, discount the idea of the uh, breakfast replacement bar. Now these, this is a store brand. I'm getting 18 bars for $4. So let's take a look. And I have my last thing of milk. So if there's 18 of them, they're probably fairly small. And, and I was right. Let's look at the actual uh, content of these. Oh, again, these are manufactured to only have 100 calories. So they got 100 calories. They've got a gram of fat, 7 grams of sugar, 2 grams of protein. So you can see that probably, I would say, that if you're going to, if you're really uh, thinking of actually replacing a meal on it with it and you're not dieting, you know, you're going to be using at least three of them to get 300 calories, six grams of protein. And then, of course, with the milk, which probably is more an item that you might not be carrying. This is the shelf-stable milk. We'd be getting 110 more calories, eight grams of protein. And I uh, wonder what the salt content of this is. Very low, only 4% or 90 milligrams. So uh, let's try one. But the point of these is that you can have a few of these rattling around in your coat pocket. Unfortunately, these don't have much of a date. These are best used by November 2020, which is this year. So, uh, you have to watch that. But, they taste really good. They taste like peanut butter, mostly. This is a chocolate in there, too, but mostly it's what the peanut butter is coming through. Let's see what the ingredients are on this one. Look at the list of stuff. We get granola, which has oats, sugar, rice flour, canola oil, rosemary extract, molasses, chemicals, chemicals, corn syrup, rice, chemicals, semi-sweet chocolate, cocoa butter, lechon, peanut butter, peanut butter and flavored chips, partially defatted peanut flour, skim milk, blah, 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 blah. Warning, warning, contains soy, peanuts, milk, wheat, and coconut. Process in a facility that also processes almonds, cashews, and hazelnuts. And of course, uh, peanuts, which is the big allergen for some people. But, uh, I think three of these in a drink would do it for you. Chewing them slowly would give you the impression that you're actually eating more than you're eating. I'm probably only going to eat one. Oh, I might eat two because I'm on my big diet now. Next up, oops. Next up, we're going to be dehydrating some fruits. Uh, blueberries and apples are going to be the first thing. And the idea is we're going to we're going to dehydrate them to the point where they can be stored long term, put it in smaller packets, and maybe uh, brought out with you when you need them. Bye.